It's been reported in New Zealand that a man has had up to 10 COVID vaccines in one day because he's taking them for other people. Now, I don't need to stress that this is a bad idea because no one's going to know what the medical effects are going to be of taking even more than one vaccine when you're supposed to take one at a time or let alone 10 on a single day. Now, this has obviously come about because this man has been taking them for other people and has been paid for the privilege. Now, I can say that when I went to take the vaccine, there was a whole queue of people and not a single person, to my knowledge, that I could overhear was asked to produce any kind of ID, any kind of confirmation as to who they were whatsoever. The only confirmation they were asked is what time their appointment was. I went in and I was asked what time my appointment was. I said what time it was and they said, thank you very much, go and take a seat, fill out the form. Now, I would like to think that the details are checked when I fill in the form and then I'm actually given the vaccine. But as for whether that is verified on any kind of computer that I didn't see or anything like that, I have no idea. There was a computer verification of my details and they told me, in fact, what was the first vaccine that I had when I went for the second one and for the booster. But as far as this story goes, and if it's to be believed, then this man had up to 10 on a single day. Now, I'm no doctor, but I don't need to be a doctor to tell you that that's very likely to be a very bad idea. But from a legal perspective, there may also be consequences because you are going to be deceiving the health service and you take it for someone else. It's very likely to amount to some kind of fraud because you're obtaining money by deception because you're deceiving the health service by taking more than one vaccine. Anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching.